in any place where we want to start our work or do anything about it because he is innocence and innocence was created before everything else was created is the most powerful power i should say innocence and then we'll do the guru puja which is actually the adi guru the primordial master incarnated on this earth many times and as you know as the tatraya he was born as janaka nanaka and many others that principle is within us and that is very important that we should develop the principle of guru nanak or janak or any one of these primordial masters because if the spirit is the master we have to become the master of ourselves and the <coughs> power of the masters are that they are the essences of the innocence of the creator of the sustainer and the destroyer they are the innocence of all this out of them this great personality innocence of these three personalities was created this great incarnation and their innocence is shown by their detachment to things they live everywhere just like other human beings married living in the families but absolutely detached unless and until this principle is awakened in you you cannot do such first of all this principle of guru must be awakened in you which gives you balance and then the ascent has to be brought in through the spirit the atma that is done by the shakti by the kundalini hasa she is the shakti she is the womb she is the one who nourishes first of all she nourishes that power within us nourishes us nourishes all our chakras by which she cures our mental emotional physical spiritual being because sometimes we bow to wrong type of people our spiritual being is also very much hurt and after that after she has achieved that then she ascends through your continuing guru and gives you the self realization so it is she who is the giver of your moksha she is the one who is the giver of the peace of the joy and this mother of yours resides in you and she gives you the realization so we worship her as the power within you so that you are empowered you become power but this power makes you the master when she comes in the void area she makes you the master because she enlightens that guru principle within you and you become the master you become the master of yourself and by that you become the master of others the one who is not the master of oneself cannot be the master of others so it works out first of all on you and then it radiates and that radiation makes others also accept you as the that dynamism and that compassionate attitude all develops through this guru principle but this is the blessing of the kundalini the boom the mother the one who we call as aquarius this is deciding within us and we have to just accept her manifestation and welcome her with open heart and know that today is the day when we are expecting human beings to rise to that level where they become compassion love affection 
this is the new awareness with which we are going to be completely fulfilled. And unless and until that happens, there is no chance for the emancipation of life, <coughs> no doubt about it. We have worked out so many things in so many places and every place I find has a different problem. The most difficult I find is America. It's like Mathura, where Sri Krishna had to go and establish Himself. That was the kingdom <coughs> of Sri Krishna and where Kansa was ruling. So the people in Mathura were the most difficult people because they were governed by devils and the devils have a capacity to dominate, good people. They are all so dominated that even where Sri Krishna lived, they uh, tried to go and harm him and kill him and all. And all the dynamism of these people from Mathra was killed by Kansa, who was to be killed by Sri Krishna. Surprisingly, the first day I came to New York for the puja, the first day it was written, Parivartani Ekadashi. Now, Ekadashi is the power with which the people are going to be destroyed. Now, that is Parivartani, <coughs> means the one by which you are going to be transformed. So, how is it the power that is going to destroy is going to transform you? Firstly, it will destroy all that is oppressive, all that kills your dynamism, all that makes you slave, that is going to be destroyed. Secondly, people will be frightened, the half-baked ones who are neither here nor there, that will be destroyed and that awe will change. Thirdly, when you see that your kith and kin are going to be destroyed, then you will have much more compassion, much more tolerance for them and you will try to save them more. So that is what it is where Sri Krishna had to raise a complete mountain on his finger, like this, on the right side. Govardhan Dari was called. That is what is my job here, is to raise the mountain, I think, and raise it on my fingertip like that. But this finger has to be strong, and this finger is nothing but the Sahajogis of America, and they have to help. By their dynamic behavior and by their <coughs> proper understanding, responsibility as the people belonging to this great nation of father. This is the finger of the father. And that fatherhood has to be dynamic, has to be overpowering, and has to be very responsible. And in that responsibility you learn so many things. So that's my job is, that's my goal is. She asked me in the TV, what is your goal, Mother? I didn't tell her that I have to raise a mountain on my finger. You see, she would never have understood that. But that is what one has to do here, <coughs> to raise the mountain. And I find it's like that, okay? mountains. And the <coughs> base of the mountain seems to be hoosed which is the most difficult part of it. They just don't move, they just don't move. It's jada, it's very, very tamas. It's so full of ignorance and so full of uh, heaviness. That is the most difficult part and that's why for Houston especially we should do a nice puja to the Kundalini that she rises in Houston. May God bless you. Can you get me the handkerchief? Yeah. Well, today it said it's Anant Chatur Dashi. Huh? Anant Chatur Dashi. Today? Ah, that's great. Yes, must be. I was wondering. Ananta Chaturdashi. Ananta Chaturdashi is the day when we uh, Visarjan dissolve Sri Ganesha in the water. 
दिन गणेश जी को छोड़ते हैं ना पानी में बिकॉज ही इज एस्टैब्लिश फॉर टेन डेज एंड आफ्टर टेन डेज इज बॉर्न ऑन द फोर्थ आफ्टर टेन डेज इज डिजॉल्व इन द वॉटर सो दैट एवरीवेयर इज पावर इज स्प्रेड थ्रू द वॉटर दैट्स वाई नो वंडर देर वॉज अट गणेश सेटल डाउन इन टू द वॉटर दैट इज अनंत चतुर्दशी अनंत इज दी इज श्री गणेश अनंत मीन्स विच कैनॉट बी डिस्ट्रॉय इन अंस कैनॉट बी डिस्ट्रॉय and that is why is the ganesh chaturdashi means the day when ganesha is dissolved in the water in the ocean or he is created worship for 10 days and again given back so it's a very great day today i should say like the resurrection of christ that you are you had christ here he lived with you and then went back to his father father is the ocean and that's what in india they do they establish him on the fourth day and on the 10th day they put him back to the ocean we used to do the same thing in our school the pun Also, we used to do the same thing in our school. Huh? We used to do the same thing in our school. He says that he did the same in his school. They used to make the Ganesha. And then really? Uh-huh. What school? Same here. It's on Gawali, on a fort. Ah. So we used to have a statue and four of the gods. We used to carry them on. And then he Not says, uh-huh. but no one understands. They just do it without understanding what they are doing about it. So it's a thing. Is even in India, how many people know about Ganesha? No one knows. the uh, maharashtra people ha uh, maharashtra they worship him a lot but they don't know much about it. they don't know how much is important about he represents how did he came on this earth nothing like we have become very superficial that way but at least it keeps your attention by doing all these things there you see this is the advantage of in india we children have to be little bit pinned down to a thing they by festive festivals and all that they try to then find out what is this what is that the attention is more there not outside so much you see that's the thing